Are you tasked with the responsibility of granting access permissions to IT teams across your organization depending on the job roles and responsibilities? Nutanix Prism Central 2024.1 introduces fine-grain RBAC that allows you to create custom roles or use system-defined roles that has fine-grain permissions on specific API operation level and set scope on a fine-grain entity level. All this can be done by creating authorization policies in Prism's IIM. Hi, I'm Lakshana Rajendran, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. In the upcoming video series, I'll walk you through the new Nutanix Identity and Access Management RBAC features introduced in Prism Central 2024.1 and how it can help you accomplish your requirements in just a few clicks. Let's take a look. Let's consider an IT organization with roles such as System Admin and Network Admin. The System Admin has limited permissions allowing them to view VMs, power them on and revert them within a specific category called Marketing VM underscore VTI. On the other hand, the Network Infra Admin can create subnets within a designated cluster but is restricted from performing any operations on VMs and cluster. Now let's explore how we can utilize our system-defined roles to establish fine-grain permission access to these operations and resources. Let's select the Virtual Machine Operator role which provides access for day-to-day -day activities on virtual machines. Here are the list of operations that are allowed for this role. Now let's go ahead and add this role to an authorization policy. Here we'll be defining the scope where we'll allow access for entity types and instances. We can either select full access or we can configure access based on the entity types and instances. In this example, let's select configure access, select entity types and instances. And uh, in the entity type, let's select all entity types. And in the filters, let's uh, select in category, let's filter by the desired category which is based on the VM naming convention. In this case, it is marketing VM underscore VDI. Click next and let's add a local user uh, to this authorization policy. In this example, we have added Nick Evans as the local user and click save. Uh, we can see that a policy is successfully created. We have logged into Prism Central as an admin user. Here are the list of VMs visible to the admin. Now we have logged into Prism Central as Nick Evans. You'll notice that only VMs categorized under marketing VM underscore VDI are visible to him. Now let's select a VM, click actions. You will see that Nick can only power on the VM and create a recovery point. When it comes to updating the VM, the user can make changes only to the name of the VM and cannot make changes to the VM properties or uh, adding networks or modifying the disk, etc. Building on our example, let's select the network infra admin system role which manages the infrastructure and the underlay networking. Here is the list of permissions allowed for the network infra admin role. This role can perform limited VM operations such as migrating and viewing a virtual machine NIC. They can also view the cluster and view cluster host information. In terms of network operations, the role can create, update and delete a subnet as well as manage VPN connections by creating, deleting and updating them. Now let's go ahead and add this role to an authorization policy. In this example, we are going to select configure access, select entity types and instances and we will be granting access to all entity types within the category virtual network type tenant acme since the network infrastructure admin will be responsible only for making network related changes on the cluster we need to provide them visibility into the tme gpu cluster with access limited to network specific configuration let's assign a local user john smith and click save you can see that a policy is created successfully. We have logged into Prism Central as the user John Smith. As you can see, the user can only view VMs belonging to the virtual network type tenant acme category. So you can see the user cannot perform any actions on the VM like updating the VM, power cycling or create recovery point etc. As you can see, John has read-only access to view cluster information but is not authorized to perform any cluster related operations. But the user John Smith can perform network operations uh, like creating a subnet. Let's go ahead and create a subnet and let's select the cluster and give the VLAN ID and click create. So the user is able to create a subnet. That's how easy it is to create authorization policies that has fine grained permissions on specific operations only on designated IT resources. See you in the next video.